I think uh, the most important thing for any anybody creative is uh, to be passionate about it. I think I love music. I think that's all I do. I eat, I breathe, I live music. I don't think anything is more important to me than music. So I've always had this single-minded passion. I mean, it's, I have never till today considered what I'm doing my profession. Otherwise, if I did, then I would... I have done probably 35 or 40 films in the last four four half years. I mean, considering out of four films, I've had hits. It, it's it's really never. I don't. I I have always loved this and uh, loved listening to music. Forget making music. You know, you got to learn. You have to have this uh, ability to appreciate lo loads of music before you make your own music. So um, I started out like everybody. It was part of a band. You know, then finally realized that you know. Uh, if you want more listeners, in India at least, most of the listeners, you know, comprise of people who listen to film music. So I finally, uh, you know, because the band never really worked, I branched out and uh, used the film medium as my launch. Then I waited, had that interim period of two, two and a half years where I was waiting for my first release to happen and it never really happened. So finally I signed a Telugu film and um, that was a blockbuster hit so because I really wanted to know if my music will ever work or not because it's better that it comes out if it comes out then you know okay it's working it's not working so I mean I, to my good luck it worked so it gave me a lot of confidence it, but I didn't sign 30-40 uh, films even after that waited 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 I think somewhere down the line I ended up doing Mukul Anand's Das you'd still see two of my songs on the album but the gentleman passed away and it was a great experience working with him and uh, I was just wondering whether uh, you know my music will ever see the light of the day in in, in Hindi film cinema. And uh, finally, um, I met Mr. Ram Gopal Verma because uh, Nagarjuna and I, Nagarjuna and I are like I think the best of buddies. He's my he's my best friend, and uh, he thought that the two of us would work well together. He introduced me during um, the making of one of his f films for his nephew, and uh, around the time Ramu had just. Uh, finished Satya and that's how I got signed on to do Satya and uh, I think from then onwards till now we've uh, we've had this uh, great association for one another I think a great admiration for one another and Ramu is one of these directors I think I've I, I mean the fact that I've done nine films with him I don't even recall anybody who's been part of him for nine films so I think uh, it's been a it's it's very important as a creative person to be always willing to learn you know your learning your learning curve should always be there you should never stop you know because you just don't know you know the minute you think you know you know it all that's the end of any any chance or any knowledge getting into your brain so i think with ramu we've always redefined and defined you know our approach to music and approach to cinema you, you always watch all these films are very different from the other he doesn't waste time and he, the greatest uh, asset when you work with Ram Gopal Verma is he lets you do what you want if he believes that you are going to contribute to his film and somewhere down the line that gave me a lot of confidence to trend set you know we, we would never follow some yardstick or reference we would always try and do something completely different but it's not okay let's do something different because we're doing something different for the sake of being different it's just something just comes out of it we're driven to try something new you know, if I say this, 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 uh, does it sound good? He says, yeah. See, anything that is successful is a yardstick or a trendsetter. Anything that is a failure that you try new is an experiment. You know, that's why they always say it's an experimental film. Because it, it didn't succeed, that's why it's called an experimental film. There is, everything is an experiment. But here, we are not just conducting experiments. We are doing things with conviction and passion. So, I mean, uh, I think since then, it's just been an incredible journey and, and so on and so forth. I think it's just, so that's about my past.